We received a question. Someone asked us, I'm thinking about converting from Catholicism to Presbyterian. Do you have any advice for me? And we have some great advice for you in this video. And our advice is, don't. Don't convert to Presbyterian. Why would you want to convert to Presbyterian, which was started by a man, John Calvin. Presbyterian can trace its roots all the way back to John Calvin and reformer theology. Or why wouldn't you want to be part of the Church of Jesus Christ, which was the Catholic Church, the church that Jesus himself started? If you look at the Presbyterian Church, it doesn't go back before the 1500s. It was started in the 1500s. Now imagine that for one second. There was one Christian church for 1500 years. That's 15 centuries of a Christian church. And then all of a sudden, Lutheran and Calvin and Zwingli and all of these other men started their own religions, invented their own religions that all disagree with each other, by the way. And there's thousands of Protestant denominations. So why would you want to be Presbyterian? Why not Lutheran? Why not Baptist, Pentecostal, Methodist, Episcopalian, uh, Anglican, or any of the others? Why Presbyterian? And why any religion that was started by a man and not by Jesus Christ. If I was going to be part of a religion that was started by Jesus, the Son of the living God, eternal Son of God, or by a mere man, I'll take Jesus Christ, the Son of God, any day of the week. So you are already part of the church that Jesus Christ established, the Catholic Church that goes back 2,000 years. Look up Presbyterian history. You won't find any Presbyterians before the year 1500. But if you look up Catholic history, you'll see that the Catholic Church goes all the way back to the Church of Christ. There were Catholics in the 15th century, the 10th century, the 7th century, the 4th century, and even in the first few centuries. I mean, look at Ignatius of Antioch, who was writing at the end of his life before he was martyred. He lived in the first century. He studied from John the Apostle himself. He heard from the preaching of John. He learned from him day and night as John learned from Jesus. So he knew the doctrines that Jesus had given, and he was the Bishop of Antioch, the Catholic Bishop of Antioch. Same thing with Polycarp, who uh, scholars think and historians think studied with John as well. And he was the Catholic Bishop of Smyrna, who also lived in the first century. And so they passed that on to Justin of Martyr, in the second century and Irenaeus of Lyon and many others, all Catholics. So you have a tradition that goes back to thousand years. That's based on the Bible and based on history. And the Presbyterians, well, Presbyterian, I mean, John Calvin taught that God died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross only for some people. He predestined some people to go to heaven, and he predestined some people to go to hell. Now, that double predestination is very controversial, even among Protestants, even among Presbyterians. I mean, if you look at the official United States Presbyterian webpage, they're going to say there's a whole host of interpretations on that. Some hold to it strictly, some hold more liberally, but the fact is that Calvin, which Presbyterian traces its roots back to, says that God destined people to go to hell. And so even many Protestants wonder if Calvinistic theology says that God loves everyone, because if he made people to go to hell to be vessels of wrath, does he love them? Does he love everybody? And there's a lot of debate about that, even among Presbyterians, even among Protestants. But the bottom line is God loves everyone. God died for everyone. God desires everyone to go to heaven. And God sent his son into this world. And that divine son, Jesus Christ, started a church, the Catholic Church, the church that you are already part of. So I leave. Study the Catholic doctrines. Study Presbyterian doctrines. Read the writings of the earliest Christians and see if they were Presbyterian or if they were Catholic. And if you are not a Catholic, we would invite you to look into the Catholic Church. If you were a Catholic, we would like you to take a second look at the Catholic Church. Perhaps you never studied your Catholic faith in depth. We have a whole lot of books we could recommend to help you to know, understand, love, and live your Catholic faith. We love the Catholic faith here at Catholic Truth. We love Jesus Christ. We love everything that he's given us, and we want everyone to be part of it. Thank you so much for watching today. Please share this video with other people who might be considering leaving the Catholic Church or might be considering coming into the Catholic Church. And check out our many other videos if you like questions answered. I mean, we answered this for one person, but we have a whole folder of your questions answered. And sometimes we have two, three, four, five, six, seven questions in one video answering them. So if you love a question and answer style video where you can learn a lot about your faith, check out our Your Questions Answered folder to learn a lot about a lot of different subjects. And also make sure to follow us on our Instagram, our Facebook, our Pinterest. Also subscribe to our podcast and check that out if you haven't already. That is all down in this description section below. 
Lastly, please consider supporting our ministry because it's you who allow us to minister to save souls and change lives for Christ. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.